Hello, everyone. Our favorite psychopath is here to murder us once again, I'm pretty sure. I mean, the offer of a nice, quiet side street sounds so enticing, doesn't it? Especially when it's said by a face that looks like that. I mean, I'm sure those twitching eyes are completely fine and trustworthy. <laughs> okay. Well, after the first bad end. I think I might actually take being murdered over that, so... Don't think we have any other choice, Orion. You decided to follow? That's good, I like girls who have some courage. Oh, it's not courage, it's just... Pure masochism, I think, on my, on my part. Although, when it comes to you, it's far beyond the level of like or dislike. <laughs> oh, that is way creepier for some reason. Come along. I'll lead you. Seems legit! Is this... a shrine? Are we gonna be sacrificed here? Could this be a secret path? It's true that this is kind of out of sight, and there don't seem to be any people around, but it feels strange. Almost like a nice secluded spot where you could be murdered. Oh. And also... He's been walking in silence for a while. I don't like this. Yeah, but I do like his hair. <laughs> oh, he stopped. I thought about a lot of things. It really is difficult. There are too many people watching around here. This city is the problem. Back where I live, there aren't many others around. What's he talking about? I guess it's fine if I don't think about the consequences. But I know it's bad if I don't hold back a bit. Come over here. Oh, are you still wary of me? In that case, you don't have to stand near me. Ooh. Look at this. Do you know what it is? This shrine still has a really old well, but it's not in use. It's dangerous, they should just fill it in. Uh oh. Take a deep look into it. And then, poop! In I go. Oh, he's right. This is a well. But why would he talk about it? Because <laughs> we're gonna die in there, Orion. You see, I actually fell in here before. Oh? The water is cold, and the mud got in my nose and mouth. The inside is covered in moss, so you can't climb out. It was very troublesome. How did you not drown? Or did you? Nobody could hear me, no matter how much I screamed. Uh, I'm surprised he made it. And that's how I died. Was it drowning? Or starvation? So you're... dead? Or... Is my theory of absorbing all the ukiyos still holding true and... Maybe that's how he went crazy. Went crazy at the bottom of a well, and that dead crazy psychopath is still part of his personality? I don't know! Or is he just playing with us? What? Have you ever died from your body being burned? Have you been stabbed and left to writhe in pain as you bled out and died over an unimaginably long time? Have you ever been hit by a car and dragged along while still alive? or been crushed by a falling roof? Have you ever fallen in front of a train and been torn to pieces? What's he talking about? Of course not, that's normal. But I have. Are you a zombie? Can you not die? What is happening? And I'll just keep repeating this over and over again. I can't escape death until my wish is fulfilled in order to save you in another place. But not here. <laughs> and there I go into the well! Huh? Rosy cheeks? Be grateful that you'll die quickly. This is nothing compared to what I've experienced up until now. I'll see you in another place in time. It's cold! You can't breathe! 
Rosy cheeks, rosy cheeks! No, the mud! You're sinking! Rosy cheeks! Ugh. Oh, the water's cold. The gray mud is going into my nose and mouth. I'm trying to use my hands to climb, but the moss just makes me slip. I'm screaming, but nobody's coming to help. I'm sure I'm about to die. Yep. Well, that was certainly an inventive way to uh, murder us, and at least it didn't have a terrifying splat like the last time he killed us. But now I have even more questions than I did about Ukiyo. That was still less terrifying than the first bad end of Toma's Root. Just gotta say that first. But... <sighs> I've got so many questions. Is my theory about all the Ukiyos being absorbed a thing? And so, like, all of the Ukiyos have been, like, dying horribly, and that's why he remembers everything? Or is he, like, some kind of zombie? I mean, there's supernatural stuff going on, because Orion's a spirit, and he's stuck in our brain. So, I mean, it's not completely out of the realm of possibility that Ukiyo's got some supernatural thing going on. And Iki also has that thing with his eyes. I don't know. He did say he would see us in another place and another time and actually save us there, so... Is that a foreshadowing of his world? <laughs> I guess we'll find out, but for now... For now, we're gonna go back to Dandelion, where I'm told that we will find some calmness and peace with a certain Sundari bunny. So, Jiwoo, I choose you as the next thing to try and keep me sane. <laughs> Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed Toma's stuff, or just enjoy the fact that it's over, because I certainly enjoyed the fact that it's all over now, and that I can go and have a sweet Sundari bunny to romance, so <laughs> I hope I see you over there, guys. Until then, see you later.